And Dan Aaron, we're live over here at Cows Beach where signs like this have been posted on many Santa Cruz beaches. Shark sighted, keep out. The great white shark attack spreading fear in the water and concern on land. People told to stay out of the water in the dead of summer when beaches are packed and business is supposed to be booming for Cowles Beach Surf Shop. Obviously it's hard for us because you know we lose business. It's like the, it's the middle of the summer. You know this is when we get most of our business. It's, it's a bummer. But it sucks for them because you know they come from all over, come to Santa Cruz to go to the beach, surf, whatever and they can't. Soon after the shark attack on a kayaker, the junior lifeguard program suspended all water activities. It's really hot down here, so it's a real bummer that we don't get to do it. But I mean, it's the sharks home too, so I'm not really worried about it at all. City leaders feel differently and enforced a rarely used action plan in cases of confirmed predatory attacks. Warning signs went up and people told to stay out of the water or find another beach. There's plenty of other places in Santa Cruz, in, in the Monterey Bay, where you can kayak, where you can surf, where you can go out and enjoy the water. Please go and enjoy your water there. Um, we, we just, we need to really enforce the, the one mile closure. This man vacationing with his family from Scotland wasn't taking any chances. We decided to heed the warnings and look a little bit further east where we, we found a uh, a nice break with clean waves and thankfully no sharks. Most of the day lifeguards could be seen telling people to get out of the water and by late afternoon word came down that those violating the order could face a citation. Yeah there were some guys came by on a ski earlier uh, told us that it's illegal to surf right now so I guess we're all rebels. <laughs> And again, these water warnings remaining in effect until sunrise Saturday. Anyone caught violating them could face fines of up to $200. Dan, Aaron. Felix, thank you. Uh, during this period, lifeguards and marine safety staff will be monitoring the water, see if this is an isolated incident or if maybe there's active feeding going on with sharks.